Hey guys, DMS here. Today we're talking about the single best bang for your buck headphones you can buy. Let's check it out. Now do me a favor, if you want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel and ask me questions directly, you can on the Telegram chat, or you can get active in the community on Hi-Fi Guides. Now, this may not be a surprise to many of you and to others, it may be, but this is a set of KPH-30i with different pads on them. Now, if you already know the KPH-30i, you know it's a pretty surprisingly good headphone for its price. It is $29 on Amazon, and I'll have everything I talk about in this video linked in the description, by the way. And for that $29, we get something that actually has a suspension strap. It's a lot like the Goss Porta Pro, but a little bit more comfortable. Very similar overall sound, warm, a little bit dark, a big focus on mid-range, and overall pretty good. Then people started putting these $10 pads on them that are made for Grados. It's got a little bit of a tear right here. You can just slot this on, and there we go. It goes on right over the regular pad. And then we have this monstrosity. I don't know if I really want to talk about the build of the KPH-30i much because it's a $30 headphone. It's not incredible build. I feel like it is incredible for its price, but either way, the headphone does tilt and swivel just a little bit because of this rubber bushing right here. They can adjust up and down. They're on ear, so they're not the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, after hours and hours of use, but they're so dang light, it doesn't really matter. They're very easy to power. They have a built-in microphone on this pair anyway, with a play, pause, control button. Myself and Zeos actually gave away 100 pairs of these KPH-30i's at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest two years ago. So it is a headphone that we do both like quite a bit. Then you put these pads on it and it gets a lot more comfortable, and the sound is completely different. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if the foam is diffusing the sound outwards, but they just have a huge surrounding sound. It's not like they're really wide, but it sounds like they're all around your head. You're just engulfed in music, in these cheap little things. Sound signature wise, they are warm with a bit of a treble peak in the top end. So this does bring in a lot more air than they normally have with just the stock pads on them. It is very much a transporting sound. That's the right word to say, transporting, transportive. It takes you places. The guy who's gonna sit back and smoke a joint when he listens to music, these are the headphones he should be wearing. I'm being serious. Like that's a joke, but that's not a joke. If you're the kind of person who really just wants your music to take you somewhere, bass on this is warm. It's not super extended, so you're not getting crazy sub or anything like that out of this. Most of the impact is coming from the mid bass, so it's not super impactful, but you get just a little bit of punch in there. Uh, the warmth is enough to make it feel like it has bass to it, and the bass is pretty textured, reasonably pleasing. This is not a super crazy detailed headphone. Uh, no matter how you look at it, you're not gonna be retrieving insane amounts of micro detail out of this, but it is a great experience. Uh, the negatives I would say are that it is still on ear, even with this big pad, and while it is more comfortable than the stock pad, eventually I do get annoyed by this touching my ear. Uh, usually I can make it a couple hours though before that's bad. The weight is nice so I don't get any hot spots on top. It does introduce a little bit of sibilance because this brings the air up a lot. And while vocals will still sound a bit warm and dark, we still do get tss, tss, really just every now and then a painful tss, S will come through and I'm not the biggest fan of that. But for $40 what are you going to do that comes even close to this? Shoot, I like this more than the $100 SHB9600. Granted, the SHB9600 does have plenty of advantages over this, uh, but honestly, I think overall, this is a better headphone than the SHB9600, as funny as that is. It may be better than a Grado SR80E. Uh, that's a bit of a harder sell. I feel like this trades blows with the SR80E. And if you put these pads on an SR80E, well, I feel like the SR80E is just straight up better than, but that headphone costs a lot more than this one does. About a hundred bucks. This is less than half the price and is pretty easily competing with it. KPH30i with these $10 pads. So do I recommend this? Absolutely. Here's the thing. It's not a crazy end game pair of headphones, uh, but if you like just trying new things, if you want something really affordable that's pretty good, if you want something to just mess around with, have fun, maybe take on a camping trip and sit in your hammock with, or who knows, maybe you just want to hook it up and listen to some records. Either way, 
it's a fun experience. I recommend it. And even though I have a bajillion other headphones, I am glad to have these. Like I said, everything in this video will be linked in the video description, and I think I'm going to wrap this one up. So guys, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please leave a like down below, a comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can at forum.hifiguides.com. And as always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this. Till next one, guys. Peace.